Hey gum people. I want to do a quick one on uh I changed some stocks out and um, put this expandable stock on the um, I ordered this stuff from uh, akbuilder.com. This was 59 bucks and the front grips here were uh, 45 bucks. So what I changed is uh, this is the grip that comes with it. It's kind of a, a hard plastic and the whole grip is much more um, It just feels more comfortable absorbs more shock um, I, I like the whole grip so I, When you buy this front end for 45 bucks you get the top and you get the bottom uh, Plastic or rubber and then you also get the whole grip and that was for 45 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal this thing for 59 bucks is a little expensive, but I wanted to get an, ex an ex uh, expandable or extended uh, stock here, and it fit. Make sure you let them know this is a Serbian, the NPAP or the PPAP. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, it says it's compatible with the M70 and M72. Um, but you, you, you can tell by this little extension here on the grip that this fits into and then you have two screws really nice system it's secure um, so this is expandable it comes with a nice little uh, tube in the back so if you want to store um, I don't know a last bullet for you or uh, <laughs> uh, whatever else you want to put in there um, cash fire starter whatever it's got a nice little tube here that's kind of empty that you can store things so I think that's kind of nice it's a little extra uh, I only extend this to the first click right there and it seems to give me a nice cheek weld to where I can come up and I get right on my sights and the sights are just really just pop right in there I'll go ahead and take the bullets out I know you people get nervous Oh, he pointed a loaded gun at us remember I always keep my guns to where they're clear you can squeeze the trigger so even if it's got a load of magazine in it there's not one in the chamber and in order for me to get a chamber on AK you can kind of see if you look in here you can tell this trigger is forward and if you look in this crack you can see it right there uh, I don't know if the lights gonna pick it up on my little screen it's it's not really picking it up but maybe you can see it so when I cock this back you're gonna see that disappear and then when I pull it, you'll see it come forward. And so I can look at the AK, tell if that's up, so I know the trigger is depressed. It's not cocked. And, I mean, if it's mine, again, I keep it with the mag in like this. Then if I need to load it, I rack around. So, uh, so it, it's uh, depressed. I like the stock. Uh, I, I like the rubber grip up front, feels really nice. It's got these little openings here if I want to put a rail here. It's also got three taps underneath if I put a rail here or I want to put a rail on the side. And the three little rails that came with it, um, I kind of put all my junk in one bag here. So here's a little bottom rail that comes with it. So if I want to put a rail on the bottom for a light, I can. I just pull it off, put it in three. It comes with all the screws. Came with everything like it should. This is what uh this is basically what I took off the gun, the wood that it came with. And uh, now I have the black. And the rubber just feels better than that wood. Give me a little bit more grip. Uh, it makes the gun all black. Black guns, lives matter. Uh, black guns matter. So uh, not that I'm into so much of a fashion statement, but it just makes the gun look uniform and most things come in black. I mean, I'm sure I could maybe try and find it in tan if I wanted it. But uh, it definitely makes the, the grip better on the pistol grip. It makes this better. With the stock fully compressed, I can come up pretty close. If I extend it out one click, it gives me a nice sight alignment. If I want to come all the way out and be out here, I can. That's a little far for me. So uh, I like it on the first click there, and it brings the sights right up on me, and I can get pretty much on sight pretty quick. 
I know everybody's like, keep both eyes open, oh, whatever. Keep both eyes, single eye. I was trying to pull an eye. So, uh, just want to do a quick little thing. The only thing I had to do for a modification, if you get this, everything else just fit pretty much quick and easy. But this little piece right here, there's two bolts. That little uh, crush walker, what do they call that? Rivet on there just kind of goes in a little bit where this piece slides in. So I had to take my Dremel with a little sanding wheel and just sand down where this bolt was and where this bolt was to get this to slide in. And that was the only kind of machining or kind of thing. Tapped it in there, it's pretty tight, uh, but it wouldn't quite go all the way in with those two um, rivets there. So I, that's the only modification I had done. Everything else clipped right on, fit great. Uh, AK Builder, they shipped it quick, came fast. I ain't getting nothing for this video. They ain't giving me nothing free. Uh, they didn't ask me to promote them. I'm just passing on because uh, I ordered some other stuff from Midway, and of course they sent the wrong stuff, and it wasn't good. So I'm not a big Midway fan because they always seem to screw shit up. I don't know why, but they just do. But uh, AK Builder did a nice job. Uh, I'm happy with it. That's my review on the, uh, I mean, you saw the package. I think it's a Tapco. Tapco makes the trigger. They make a lot of AK stuff. But uh, really happy with the stock and uh, the pistol grip, the Hogue pistol grip. The Hogue grip and those grips are both Hogue. So they both have that rubber soft feeling, which uh, makes it feel comfortable, a little bit more grippy. And uh, now I got that gun pretty much where I want it. The only thing else I might do is if I decide to put the rail on it to put a light. But um, you know what? When I shoot the AK, it pretty much lights up the area, so I don't think I need a light. All right, we'll end that there.